What's going on guys, Asian Guy here bringing you another episode of Genshin Monday. Last week we got very lucky and we finally got ourselves the very first prototype which was the prototype for the claymores. This time around I'm hoping to get one for the sword and also for the bow but most importantly I want Shadow of the Warriors so that I can level up my Shao to maximum level as well as my Ganyu as well. So Shadow of the Warrior from Tartania boss is what I'm looking for. I am exhausted by the way guys but I want to get this video out for you guys and there's many things that I want to talk about first of all because all the 1.3 information did come out and that's the reason I am exhausted is because because I was up all night looking through this stuff and on top of that I was trying to learn the lyrics of Tunak Tunak Tun which is a Punjabi song. So don't ask me why but if you tune into my streams you'll know absolutely why. So the banner for Shao has been revealed. We're going to get Shao as soon as the patch drops which means that the content is probably going to be coming out at around 3am UK time which is very miserable for me trying to fix my sleep pattern right now. That's not good at all so if I do stream on the day the Shao banner I will probably not be streaming until maybe like 2, 3 p.m. UK time. So do keep that one in mind. We've got Beidou, we have got Xinyan, and we have also got Diona. I actually had predicted Diona and Xinyan. I didn't get Beidou correct because I wasn't sure. She was one of the contestants on there, but I did predict... Pre predict these two because I think Shao needed to be played with a shield. So Diona is actually a really, really good support for Shao because of the shield and the healing. It's pretty much made for Shao. Allows him to swirl as well and break electro shields as well as hydro shields with the bonus swirling from Cryo as well. And then Jin Yan is also very good. And then we've got Beidou as well who can actually technically give you a shield if you get Constellation 1. So this banner, all three of these characters will pair up very nicely with Shao, especially with constellations as well now the thing i really wanted to talk about quickly guys is if you are thinking about going for constellation zero shao and you do not have any of these weapons and you do not have the primordial jade wing spear i just want to make it clear although this banner is a gamble because you might not get the spear i think that the primordial jade spear paired up with shao constellation zero is infinitely better than shao constellation one Shao Constellation 1 will give you a little bit of extra energy recharge and a bonus charge on your elemental skill which is where you get the elemental recharge from or energy recharge rather because at the start of a fight you will have one extra charge but that's only at the start of the fight guys. If you are willing to put $200 worth of investment back into the game I would say it's worth taking the you know the 50 50 on trying to get the primordial jade wing spear or the sword because the sword as well guys is ridiculous this sword is insane it is the best dps sword if you play with kaching as well it is by far the best dps sword in the game because it will give you a large amount of attack bonus even though the base attack itself is very very low so it's not very good for someone like bennett who needs a high base attack the base attack is going to be not great however it will give you a large amount of bonus attack making the average maybe weapon stat of this sword around 700 to 750 which is kind of ridiculous and then on top of that it's going to give you 44 percent crit rate guys 44 percent crit rate there's no weapon in the game that's going to give you 44 percent crit rate that is obscene that's a ridiculous ridiculous amount of of crit rate and then to top it off guys the four star weapons on this banner are all really really good other than maybe the eye of perception which is still better than the free to play option so if you don't have any of these weapons guys rust flute favonius lance sacrificial greatsword or eye of perception there is no way you can lose on this banner because all of those weapons on there are actually pretty darn good especially if you get rust or flute both of them are really good. Sacrificial Greatsword for support Jin Yan or for a support Chong Yun depending on if you know how to use them or what you're using the Sacrificial Greatsword for. Refinements on that weapon, really good. Refinements on Rust, really good. Refinements on Lance, Eye of Perception, Flute, all really, really good refinements to have. And naturally, if you get either one of these weapons, guys, and you have none of these weapons on the banner anyway, it's going to be a dub. If you have a sword user, it's a dub. If you have a spear user and you want your spear user to do damage, so Zhongli or Shao, if you want them to do damage, or even Jin Yan as a main DPS, this is some big PP damage that you want to be looking out for. On top of that, if you're a whale, look forward to these. I'm going to be buying all of these out because this is such a nice resource for whales and content creators. 
creators who want to save time and resin not farming this stuff and then the other stuff that we are going to be getting is kek w it's keking so we have got kaching my wife's favorite but i do not recommend anyone pulls on this banner i know bennett is on there but it's got barbara barbarian barbara barbara the beast still not good enough to tempt me into pulling and also we've got ningguan on there as well so kaching i don't think this is a good banner i think this is a trap banner we are most likely getting hu tao and Zhongli after this banner, guys. Very, very, very possible we'll be getting Hu Tao and Zhongli after this banner because it does say in the patch notes that we are going to be getting banners immediately after. And guys, Dane Sleaf World Quest is coming. Now, I don't know what this means, but it says the world quest for Dane Seaf is coming. And because it's a world quest, guys, there's a very good possibility we're gonna actually see Dane Seaf in the game. And way sooner than I thought as a actual playable character. I, you know, I had a prediction like 2025. He might be so, so far away because he's like the storyteller. He's the one always narrating all the videos. But he might be coming, guys, in like 2021, which is kind of insane. So I don't know anymore what's going on with Mihoyo, guys. But let's get into the video. Genshin Monday is a go-go. Hopefully, I was recording all of that. And hopefully, you guys were able to sit through and listen to that. Apologies, guys. I'm so, so, so tired. But again, the main prize that I am looking for here is going to be this right here. Shadow of the Warrior, because I need this for Shao and Ganyu. It upsets me so much that it's shared. But you know what? It is what it is. I want to get good gladiators as well. I want to get a prototype. And I want to get some big chunky chunks as well so let us begin we don't have a lot of resin to go in there but we are just going to clap tartalia's cheeks let's go okay tartalia coon i'm going to put on the shield right here and then i'm going to shoot you i'm going to shoot you boom oh that's a, some big pp damage that's some big pp damage i missed that's some big pp you don't get to hit me no no you don't Boom, quick scope, dead. Okay, nice, excellent scenes, excellent scenes. We're gonna put the shield down again. We're gonna keep getting our Jade Spear passive up. And let me show you some big PP Jade damage, okay? Big PP, 87k, guys. No reaction damage at all, no Bennett, none of that nonsense. 80k or 87k damage, rather. And we could do that again. Nice, very quick, very fast PP damage. We're gonna skip that. No, skip it. Skip it, okay? I don't want this video to be super long. Right, we're going to put the shield up. Blink towards me. Blink towards me. Very good. Very good. He's marked me. That's fine. We're going to do that. Ooh, that's some big PP damage again. He has left the circle, which is quite annoying. But you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. We're going to mark you again. We're going to put this down. Oh, we didn't put it down, but it's okay. We're going to blink out of that. And then we're going to do some big PP damage right here. Kaboom. Yes. Yes. And that's it, guys. And that's Ganyu. That's a level 6 talent Ganyu, guys. Attack level 6. Imagine if this was at level 10, guys. Instead of hitting 40Ks, I'd probably be hitting in the 60Ks. With no reactions. So as I said before, only Zhongli has an ability that can hit that hard compared to Ganyu's normal attack, guys. Ganyu's normal attack. Is the banner still here or is it gone? So, you know, if you haven't pulled for Ganyu, this banner is pretty good. Although, Sing Chu, if you are looking to pull for Sing Chu, guys, you will be able to get this character for free from the four star character selections. My advice is to go for Sing Chu because he is the best four star on there. And of course, his utility passive. If you don't have any copies of Sing Chu, you should absolutely pick Sing Chu because he has a chance of refunding your talent materials when leveling them up. Shadow of the Warrior, please. Okay. One Shadow, one Shard of Foul Legacy. Okay, it could have been worse. This I don't really need. I have five of these and I only use these on Tartalia right now. So hopefully maybe a future character will be using this like Hu Tao. But yeah, Shadow of the Warrior. Okay, we got one of them. This is miserable. Three greens, two blues, one green. Terrible. Please be crit rate, crit damage or tap percent. <gasps> Right, we're gonna save that rolling for the end, but that is a gorgeous artifact. 
Oh my god! Oh my god! It's basically perfect, guys. I just need this to roll energy recharge. Please. Or elemental mastery. Come on. Don't let me down. Don't let me down. I beg of you. Energy recharge or elemental mastery. Don't hurt me with a flat stat. Oh! It's beautiful, guys! It's beautiful. You know what? We're just going to take it. Look at this L, guys. Look at this L, which is going to go into being sacrificed for the hit. Okay. Okay. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. I like that. 5.3% attack percent roll. It's got crit rate on there. I want a bit more crit rate, though. Can we get a little bit more crit rate? That is the main question. This is garbage. This is garbage. This is also garbage. This is actually not garbage let me save that this is garbage that is garbage as well two times the xp boost damn it that's fine that's fine please be crit rate please be crit rate please be crit rate oh oh okay attack percent that's fine that's fine i do want one roll into crit rate guys one roll into crit rate I need a times two boost or a times five boost as well. That would be really, really, really nice to get. No? Okay. That's absolutely A-OK -okay. to the people who are angry at me that I'm feeding this one by one. I don't want to use my one star or two time two star artifacts until the very, very end. So please keep that in mind. I know some backseat gamers don't like that I feed this one by one. But I want to keep my three stars and four stars or rather my three stars, two stars and one star artifacts for very early artifacts to roll the fourth stat if we get a good triple ability, a good triple substat roll. Come on, crit rate or another attack percent is what I'm looking for here. Crit rate or another attack percent. Ooh, yeah, that, that's why, guys. One star artifact. It's a waste just throwing them away here. All right, this is going to be times two, I bet, guys. So let's do that. Nope. Okay. Crit rate, please. Damn it. Okay, okay. I mean, it's still a pretty good helmet. It rolled attack percent twice. It rolled elemental mastery twice. And it rolled attack, flat attack once. So it's okay. It's lacking crit rate. I'm lacking crit rate severely here. But it is still a big PP helmet for Wanderers. Which is something I would like to try out on Ganyu. But I don't think I have a full set on Ganyu yet. Let me take a quick look. Yeah, so unfortunately I don't have a full set for Ganyu that I can abuse. You know, it is what it is. Let's move on over to Devalin. Devalin, from him I want to have... Just plumes, really, guys. Devalin, the only thing I can really look forward to is plumes. So, we got a decent artifact that we got to level 20 today. It means I lost a lot of Mora again, though, which is something that's not great. If I take a look here, I only have 3.2 mil Mora, which is not really a lot. And I would like a little bit more. Now, I have seen footage of Devalin being literally one shot, guys, before anything even starts. I can't do that build, guys. I don't have Klee, but you know what? We're going to try and give it a shot anyway. So let's remove that. Let's remove that. We've got Diona there. We need Diona's ult ready. We need Bennett's ult ready. And I think we might as well just put Diluc on here as well. So let's do that. Do I have any ultimates ready? That is the question, guys. That is the question. If I don't have the ultimates ready, I won't even be able to replicate this remotely close. Okay. Okay, I don't. It is what it is, guys. It is what it is. Right. Okay, that was not a good shot. That's fine. That's hit them. Okay, nice. Okay, never mind. Guess I'm not going to bother with... Okay, never mind. I'm just going to go like this, huh? Right. Okay. Interactive gameplay. And that's that, guys. <laughs> okay, well, I didn't get the one shot off. 
because I didn't have my ultimates. But you know what? It is what it is. Please give me De Valen's Plume. That's what I want. De Valen's Plume is what I'm looking for. Let's go. Go big. Oh, baby! We're on a roll, guys. We're on a roll. That's the sword, guys. They exist. My luck has finally turned. We got a purple chunk as well. We got the claw and the plume. So I guess that's a bit of a dub. Is this going to be huge? It's not great. It's not great. I'm losing my voice. But we got another prototype, guys. I'm looking for the bow prototype. That's the one I want the most. But two weeks, guys. Two weeks in a row. It's changed. Genshin Mondays. It's finally a lucky day for me now. Let's move on to Devalin. I am going to be using, again guys, for the backseat gamers, I will be using Ganyu because I want her friendship EXP. However, you can still apply the enemy with Cryo using Ganyu or any Cryo character, you can still apply it onto them. But, I am going to be going for... Who do I want here? See, I want the melt damage with Chongyun. So I think it's better for me to just go with this and then have Bennett as my healer. Right. I think this is A-OK. -okay. Boom. And we are going to be doing Andreas. And I think we are looking for Ring of Boreas, guys. Ring of Boreas is probably what we're looking for. We can go from here because this way is faster. And then hopefully we actually get a bow prototype. Might be my lucky day today, guys. We got a really good artifact to start things off with. On top of that, we got another prototype, which I don't have before. Sword prototype, so that is fantastic for any future weapons, or even if I need the elemental sword, which I forget the name of. Iron Sting, I believe it's called. And I do think we will probably be getting a new prototype sword in the future, within the next two or three months, so it would be nice to have the prototype there for that. And then, of course, the prototype bow, because I want the prototype crescent. If I want to make a dedicated Ganyu build video, guys, like I did for the young Razore, I need to have the prototype crescent, guys. I need to have the free-to-play weapon to showcase it. Right. We have got ultimates ready, other than Dilux one. So maybe we could go huge PP damage, guys. It's very, very possible. So, Toravara, are you ready to test your skills? Yes, I am. Yes, yes, I am. Okay, so, Sacrificial Sword on Chongyun. Boom. One, two, three. Okay, nice. Apply Cryo again. No, he dodged it, guys. What a little bitch. What a little bitch. Right, we can do this. Don't swipe at me. Okay, do that. Boom. One. Two. Three. A get applied with Cryo again. Big ultimate. Okay. Missed completely. Actually, maybe it did hit him. Okay. So you can just dash through Andreas as well. And you can hit him with a normal bow shot as well. But... Yeah, so if you hit him, he will veer off. Now with Ganyu, if you charge all the way up, obviously you won't be able to do any damage to him because he's going to be immune. So just do a mini charge like that, and that should hit him as well. Oh, you can still hit him from here. Okay, nice. Okay, we got a little bit of small PP damage in there. Bonus. All right, Ganyu, Chongyun, it's time to go huge, guys. It's time to go huge. Right. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Boom. 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 Okay. Okay. Oof. That's not good. Um. 43k. Not bad at all. I lost my thing there, which is a shame, but you know what is what it is. Oh, some weird noise is coming out of me there. Ay 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 what is going on, huh? What is going on? Not like this! Not like this! Not like this! Let me switch to the look! Oh, okay, there we go. 31k. Right, that was a bit messy towards the end, guys. A bit embarrassing. 
But you know what? It is what it is. Can we get a prototype for the boat? We are using two refills already. I think I'm going to take a day off from streaming today because I'm exhausted. No. Spirit Locket of Boreas. Actually, I think that's the best one. Wait. Spirit Locket of Boreas. I think that one's for clear, is it? No, it's not. It's for Fischl, Kaya, Ninkwan, and Sucrose. It's the worst one, guys. I don't play with Sucrose. I don't play with Ninkwan. Kaya, maybe I will in the future. And Fischl, I do play with. But I don't really want to level up her talent abilities. So that's the worst possible drop. We do get a purple chunk, though, which is really, really nice. So I will take that. And we do get a double legendary. I do need time pieces, guys. They are the most important piece for me right now. I have literally good versions of every single other piece except for time piece. That's actually pretty good. That is not good. Okay, so this one is actually pretty pog with the elemental mastery, crit rate, and attack. If this rolls crit damage, this is really, really good. But I don't think it's going to roll crit damage. And otherwise, today has been a pretty decent day. We got ourselves a plume, shadow of the warrior, another prototype, a really, really good artifact as well. And I'm, I guess I'm pretty happy with that overall. I think today... Do I need to be farming Mora? Hmm. Today I will be farming. I think more talent materials for Shao is what I will be farming. We've got eight of these now. We've got five of these. We've got a lot of Ring of Boreas's, Tale of Boreas. We've got a lot of these that we're not using any of these on. We've got 11 Deval and Scythe. We've got Plumes as well. And this is what I want the most, Shadow of the Warrior. So not bad at all. I have pre farm for Shao. I have all of this ready. He is not going to be using Hurricane Seeds, but you can see I've been farming a lot of the world bosses now. 40 of these, 100 of these, 32 of these, 73 of these. And then, of course, Prosperity. We've got 34 gold books, 71 blue books, and 19 green books. And I think we need 9 green books, 66 blue books, and like 140 gold books to fully crown out Shao. Well, he is going to be the one that gets the crowns from me. You know, it is what it is. I'm looking forward to it. And two more days, guys. Tomorrow will be Genshin Tuesday with my wife. And then Wednesday, I will bring you videos regarding Shao, guys. Probably Constellation 6, Constellation 0, Shao Summons. And I still haven't uploaded my Ganyu Constellation 6 Summons. I have so much leftover footage, guys, to edit. I think I will take today off to get around to do that and get some good sleep as well. I'm so sorry I was sleep deprived throughout the video, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video regardless. And yeah, good luck with your Genshin Mondays, guys. Two weeks in a row. My luck has finally started to change. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.